welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets, set notation, and um, operations you can do on sets. So before we do anything, we have to figure out what a set is. Now a set is just a list of elements. In this case, I have a list of numbers, but it could be a list of colors. It could be a list of letters in a specific word. It could be a list of all the people in your math class. A set is just that, a set of items that all go together. The items are called elements. Now, if we look at the sets that I have here, they look different. Set W, I have five items in it, and I've listed out each of the elements. And that's the word that we use for the items in the set, the individual elements. This is called roster style. It's kind of like if you think of a roster for a class. It just lists all of your elements so you can read them all. This is called set builder. Set builder is building a set. So we're building out the elements by defining them. X is an even natural number. Natural numbers are one through infinity. So even natural numbers are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, going on up through infinity. Okay, so now we know the basics of what a set is. Now we need to know a little bit of the notation that goes along with sets. The first is this funky little thing that looks like an E. It translates to exists. And it tells us if an element exists within a set. So I could say two exists in W, which means two is an element in the set W. I could say five exists in W, but that's not true. So when it's not true, just like the don't smoke signs or the other don't signs you see, we just put a slash through the E. And now instead of saying five exists in W, we say five does not exist in W. Okay, now if you look at this set, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and set X, which is all positive even numbers, you'll notice that all of the elements in W are also in X. So our inclination is to be able to say the full set W exists in the full set X. The problem is exist, E, works with elements, E, nicely put together. When we wanna talk about sets that are part of other sets, we actually use something called a subset. Now, subset is just a funky sideways U. So I could say W is a subset of X. And just like the greater than, less than sign, the closed side is what is supposed to be the smaller part versus the bigger side. Now, there is another symbol, which is the subset with a line underneath, and that's for a proper subset. So W is a proper subset because they're not equal. Um, okay, and we could write it either way, just like greater than or less than. So the basics of what we talked about today are two common ways of writing a set, roster notation, set builder notation. And we talked about some of the words that go with sets. This funky E, which means exists, slash through it is doesn't exist. Um, the same with subsets, I could say X, is not a subset of W. So we can say, look at individual elements, we can look at whole subsets to determine how they relate to each other. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.